everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Backyard Bandits. So I'm recording this back to back with the last two episodes that we did. Um, so just so you know, if I'm kind of behind on comments and stuff by the time you get to here, that's the reason why. But uh, yeah, so let's have a look, quick look at the barracks here. Um, we've, we took a lot of damage last time to the Centurion. We lost the LBX. Uh, and I did, I did um, add the Rack 5 to the Mortis. But I changed that around. Um, so what I ended up doing was, if you go to the Mortis, I'm going to use the Rack 5 and the Centurion. If you go to the Mortis, I decided to um, change this slightly. So originally I had the Rack 5 here, and I didn't have the two ER medium lasers. Um, and we just had three regular heat sinks in here. So I pulled the regular heat sinks out, put the double heat sink kit in, added the AC5 with some AC5 ammo out of the two pirate ER medium lasers. So now the heat efficiency is not as good as it could be. Um, we're 15 over, but that's fine because we've got the TSMs in here, which will give us uh, six plus 60 meter walk distance when they when they activate and one and a half times melee damage when they're active. So I'm hoping we can get some melee in with this guy. Uh, we do have the hatchet, which is integral to the mech. Uh, and I added the lower melee uh, actuator here and the battle fist which adds uh, bonus percentile to melee damage um, and melee stability damage plus melee accuracy so I'm hoping we can get some melee done with this guy put the fire control system ballistic in here because I don't really have a lot of other stuff I could have added uh, fire control system wise I mean we, we could have done improved gunnery but um, actually what's the recoil you know what let's go gunnery because that'll, that'll affect everything. We don't really have any recoil on this thing. It says it suffers from recoil, but doesn't have any recoil modifier. Uh, this would have um, increased generated weapons heat fire. Maybe we want to keep that then. I think we want to keep that. Unless we have... No, we don't have a fire control system laser down here. So let's leave that in for now. Um just for the heat, an extra little bit of heat. So, um, yeah, um, that's how this guy is going to play out. I'm hoping that we can get into melee range. We do have a couple of LRM-10s with some standard ammo, some uh, Thunder ammo is backup um, Guardian ECM. This is 6, 12, 18 turns of firing, so it's plenty, and this is 20 turns of firing. Um, so we got lots of uh, firing to do. Now, it's relatively underpowered for 75 tons. Uh, damage wise but I'm hoping we can get something good out of this we'll see how it goes um, it's obviously not complete by any means we'll have to work on it as we get more stuff but uh, we're gonna take that into a battle today I'm gonna swap these two guys around here put the mention over here for now and we're gonna go to here so we passed the end of the month so we got some new missions and we've got a seek and destroy mission from the uh, pirates so it's a battle in the lowlands. We're going to go ahead and do this. It's a government military unit operating um, in pirate territory. So we're going to go ahead and max out our pirate rep here. Or not max it out, but get some more pirate rep. So let's take Scramble out of the lineup. Archer's coming in. Uh, Dervish. You and you. And then Hopper, Arachne, and Hotshot, and Queen Bee. And let's do this. Yep. Command interface initiated. Okay. Well, got them right out in the open, do we? Yeah, sure they are. That looks pretty scary to me. But looks can be deceiving. Looks like a kaiju almost. That looked like a mortis actually. Now that I think about it, let's get the hell out of the water. That. Just in case you're wondering why I like to get out of the water, um, because if you're in the water, it's easier. F they get like a 20% bonus for their sensors to detect you. Affirmative. Okay, let's wait till we all form up here. Now, I don't know how I want to run this. I definitely have to close with them, but... Okay, let's get the mortise up to the water. On the move. Let's just 
keep you up on the top here. Maybe you get a better chance to see them. They come up closer. So we don't have any allies with us. Which is okay. Yeah, we're going in the water now. We can all cross together here. We gotta get up this hill. If they get us down here in the water, we're in trouble. Okay, the mortise is pretty slow, but, you know, it is what it is. Hopefully they don't move from up there. They can stay up there till we get there. And I'm keeping our fingers crossed that this is a one-on-one -on -one fight, so four on four. Most likely they'll have reinforcements, though. We can't get out of the water, huh? All right, we got eyes on now. Let's get over here. You see anything around anywhere? I don't see anything. Prepping for jump. The good thing about having the flames on the flamers on the um that looks like a bushwhacker. Cicada. Good thing about having the flamers on our lamb mech is that uh, the guy we want to melee we can burn up so that he can't move. Ordered. We gotta get the hill arachne. So watch this. First turn. And doesn't give me a chance to fire. So th there's something wrong with that. I don't know. Something's bugged there. Fire away, buddy. You shoot at me while my friends get up here. How can I help? They're the ones gonna punch you in the face anyway, so. I don't know. If, I think it was the bushwhacker that we saw back there. Awaiting orders. Let me get my stability back this way till we get our resolve up a little higher. Just brace right here. Ready for orders. Come on, buddy. It's actually not that bad. On my way. Double time. I mean, maybe it is. 4.3. Eh. Yeah, they got weaker, uh, see that, see how they're missing weapons? Huh. Yeah, you better back up. What's this guy? A wasp. This might go down real fast today. Um, let's reserve you. Confirmed. I see that where that bushwhacker goes. There he is. Yes, Commander. I'm gonna try something here. Standing by. Let's do this first. Oh, I, I guess I have to do that before I jump. All right. Commander. Get up this hill. Hmm. Slightly better, but not much. Like, this cicada's got, like, no armor, so let's just rain some missiles on him. Engaging. Our goal is to try and keep the bushwhacker. 
So if we trash everybody else, I'm fine with that. LRM 15. Doesn't have much. Clan, Artemis 6, Ultra 10. Ooh. Yeah, we better, um... It's a lot of AMS. Let's give him somebody else to shoot for. Uh, yep. Now, can we go before him? We do. Ready to get it on. Copy that. Gonna slice and dice that uh, wasp if I can. Copy that. Oof, all misses, eh? All right, that's fine. Gonna walk it up. Affirmative. Get a little higher. Get a little higher, baby. Drop some more incendiaries on this guy. Copy that. I know he's gonna shoot most of them down. There we go. Burn him a little bit. Get some chemical fire on him. Then we can zap him with the flamers. Well, he's gonna go before us, but if he doesn't move too far, we can zap him with the flamers and jump out of there. Yep, thanks for showing up. Let's see where this guy goes. See, it makes me wish now that we could we could have weapons on the back of the mech. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, we can't get direct fire. But we can rain some missiles down on this guy, so we'll do that. Yeah, sh I haven't figured out why she's having a harder chance to hit than uh, Hopper. There's something going on. Commander. Oof. All right, let's just stay safe. No point in pushing it. We got time. Got we got that. time. We got time. Ooh. Not in range yet, though. Getting close, though. Getting close. Um, oh, that's a little better. All right, here it comes. Oof, not bad. Solid connection, that one. Yes, Commander. All right, we need to go after this guy now. That's not optimal. That's the front. I think we can afford the heat. Let's jump into here. We can afford the heat, I think. So let's go after this guy. Alright, let's get our tag to the top. I don't know if it's going to help, like I said. Do that first. Um, we'll hold off on the barrage. Got the angle. Taking the shot. Two hits. Okay, he's a little warm. How can I help? Ooh, we got direct line of sight Roger now. That. So, doesn't matter heat wise. See if we can apply, but well, he's just going to shoot them down. 
Uh, let's just try to get, keep the chemical burn on them. Okay. Knew he was going to shoot them down, but we were trying to keep the chemical burn on them, so... All right, now let's see if we can warm ourselves up here. Let's go after this guy. And we'll fire everything. All weapons are go. I thought about adding, um, taking the LRMs off and the AC off and adding an AC-20. It's a possibility on the Mortis. But right now it's so inaccurate that I don't know if it's worth it. Um, I mean, we can try, but like as a like in this battle, he wouldn't have been doing anything until he got to here, and then at 23% chance to hit, it's like, what's the point? All right, buddy. Yes, Commander. You do you, and then we'll do you. See ya. Shredding this cicada is not really a oh, oh, this guy's decided to move up. All right. All right, that's good. You do you. Oh, I got something for you, buddy. I got something for you. Let's not let that uh, bushwhacker be behind us. So let's get over here. Melee, sixty-seven percent chance to hit. Ninety-four damage. That's actually not that bad. I mean, not the best melee mac, but once we get some better gear. You wanna go? Let's go. Ooh. Okay, not bad. Not bad. I mean, still, if we had an AC twenty, it'd be a little better. All right, we got a back attack on this guy, so we're going to take it. And the barrage looks pretty good at this chant at this time, so we're going to go ahead and take that too. Rear armor it is. I think we did. We get him. We may have. Confirm. I want to try and stay a little closer to this guy. I've got your back. Come on. Nope. 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 Yep. Gonna keep going with the incendiaries on this guy. Try and keep him toasty. Still getting lots of heat. Very little damage, but he's gotta walk he's gotta walk through the uh the fire, so. Okay, arachne. That's pretty good chances on this guy. Let's go ahead and take it and fire. Ooh. 320 core. I'd like to get that. We could use, certainly use it in the mortise. An extra 40 tons in that, uh, or actually 40 uh, extra 40 on that core would be nice. It's only got a 280 core, so Talk to me. it's a bit of an issue. Yeah, this guy I want to target, but you're not letting me. Cicada would die, but I'm not interested in that right now. I want this guy. Keep him toasty. Plus 17 heat, not bad. Yeah, man. I guess the other thing too is we could put the advanced AMS on this guy. That Ultra could, like, shred us. Let's move as far as we can attack this guy. <laughs> See ya. Oh, that was a leg shot.
Oh, okay, see ya. Seems like kind of a waste for a 75 ton mech, though. The way it's currently set up. Um. Okay, let's get like that. Go ahead and vigilance. And then attack this guy. That's the one we want. Let's heat him up. Oh, that'll really heat him up. There you go. Copy that. Ooh, missed with the tag though. Lots of flamers on him though. Beautiful. We may just be able to sit there and keep him toasty now. We're going to run out of incendiary missiles really shortly though. What, are you angry? Yeah, I realized we were inside Barrage just there a second ago, but we'll take all the ones. This guy took a lot more, so everybody's nice and toasty in there now. I don't know if we can get that bushwhacker, the pilot, to bail out, though. Oh, this guy's coming to die, too. There we go. Fire on this guy. How you like me now? Standing by. Yeah, that's the only reason why I did that is because I want to do this. I could have attacked this guy with the missiles, but did I just take his head off? Oh no, it looked like I did. Target neutralized. All right, let's flame this guy up again. I really hope this guy bails out. Target locked. Oh, 138 heat. Vulcan can't get me back here. How can I help? Let's see if we can wipe out this Vulcan here. Alright, let's go this route. Finish this guy up. See ya. Alright, now we can just focus on this guy. Oh, what did he lose? Yes, Commander. Oh, man. got so much armor in the leg or yeah so many hit points in the legs we really got to hope we hit this leg how else do we do this um, we could just try for the headshot hopefully we cluster his head Actually, no, I'm going to do. Gonna reserve her. I've got your back. Okay, buddy. Let's hope we get it. Don't know if we got the head or not. That's one. It was probably the torso. Mission successful. I mean, I guess I could have tried something else on that, but he wasn't even stressed. Like, he didn't he didn't take any stress. He didn't have... He wasn't worried. So even if I had kept him overheated, there's, I, I would eventually just kill him anyway. Three parts for the bushwhacker. I mean, we could just take the three parts. Let's see what we got in here. Bolt-on AMS. That's kind of interesting, because then you could put a bolt-on AMS and just keep ammo so you don't have to... That's nice. Chain, so chain sword. Can you have both a chain sword and an axe at the same time? That's an interesting question. Multi track. Okay. Clan cockpit. SLDF. Now I'm thinking I'm going to take the three bushwhacker parts. Prototype double heat sinks. Man. 
we've got five of these already, right? Yeah, so I think we're okay. Spall liner, that's nice too. But most of those things are on the bushwhacker. Let's take those three. I don't think we have a whacker part already, a different whacker part, but if we do, bonus. All right, cicada wasp part. Uh, what else do we got? ER small clan. We'll hang on to that. Don't need the basic cockpits. We'll hang on to the SLDF. Clan, this is good. How many heat sinks do we have? 17. We don't need those then. Clan sensors is awesome. Got more TSMs. Okay. We didn't really get much of a chance to use these, although the 60 meter walk isn't really much. Puts us walking about the same as we're running. But, all right, not bad. Okay, 7,000 repairs. That's nothing. That is nothing. That should put us... Uh, Centurion's three days. So four days for repairs. Let's bring the Centurion up so it's only four days. And let's have a look in the mech bay. I'm interested to see... I can't remember if we faced the bushwhacker yet. What is... Oh, these are the... Uh, right, they changed these to um, obsolete mech parts. Which is kind of nice. You can actually see which mechs are obsolete. So we can put together a locust. And we do have enough bushwhacker parts. Interesting. So the X1... Side effects that manifest themselves as various gremlins in the mechs board electronics prototypes. So that's a prototype. Uh, let's go with this one because this one seemed... Yeah, it's got clan tech in it. So we'll go with this whacker. Let's ready this guy. 176. We're running out of sea bills, man. Oh, we're taking it. We're going to go for it. Nice. Let's see what's in it. Now, I don't think we're going to be able to... Actually, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, that's the Hector. Let's just... How much do we get for these now? Like nothing. 47,000 for a 70-ton mech. Icarus 2. 21,000. Well, let's go ahead and scrap the the uh, obsolete mechs. The... the um, what are they called? Go ahead and scrap that. And the Locust... Uh, it cost us 13000 We'll sell it for more than that. So let's go ahead and put these together. It's going to be fourteen k. So we should be able to sell it for more than that. So let's go ahead and do that. Because really, these things are worth nothing. But if we can get some gear off them, um, all the better. Okay, so let's take a look at the Locust here. Um, SRM2, alright, well, not a big deal. 37,000, just go ahead and scrap it. So we made, we made a bit of sea bills off that one. So let's have a look at this guy. Doesn't look like we got much left off this. I was hoping for that Clan LRM15 to be okay. The Ultra 10 is fine though, but no ammo, which really sucks. Oh, Advanced Targeting Computer, Artemis, Clan, ah, oh, man, all the clan plus one defense against being hit that's nice bolt on AMS let's repair it all SRM Artemis 4 half load battle computer multi tack can fire up to three targets we lost the core which is what man the ERPPC everything that was good about this mech is gone clan XL engine 275 core uh, but still, though, it's a nice platform to run on. Um, so we've got one hard point in each arm, and a laser and a missile hard point in each torso, and one hard point in the CT. So that's actually not that bad. I mean, this might be a good replacement. I don't know. I was going to say a good replacement for the Urban Mac, but. Let me think about it. We'll figure out what's going to happen with this guy. 510,000. We're going to hold off for now. We want to make sure we get some more C-bills in the bank before we do that. Uh, yeah, let's confirm that. 
All right, so that will be the end of this episode, I think. Let's drop this guy down there. The Mortis, I don't know. Um, kind of up in the air about that mech. It does definitely needs speed. Um, we didn't get the 320 core, unfortunately, but hopefully we can get that sooner rather than later. There's a, the paint scheme on this is really nice, too. Um, but we'll see how it goes. All right, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.